All right, guys, I'm going to walk you through how to make your uh, portfolio if you weren't here the, the day we did it in class. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go into your photo resources, go to your photo guide, pick the class that you're in for your link. So I'm just going to pick photography uh, period one, click on that link. It's going to ask you to sign in. It'll automatically put the classroom code in. Go to next. Sign in with Google. Okay, you come to this page right here. Okay. Um, what I want to do is go up to uh, this purple pink button here. Click on that. Go down to Portfolio. You want to add a title, which will be your name. And the subtitle is going to be Art of photography and then you want to add a picture add photo okay so I have some practice photos right over here so I'm going to upload click this upload button click one of these photos that I would think would make a good title photo let's go with that one so this is the title page for my uh, for my portfolio. Okay, I can change that at any point by clicking on here and uh, replacing it. Okay, so now I want to go down to the next plus button. I want to click on text and then I want to click on H2. Uh, this would be project one colon rule of thirds okay and I'm going to come down here to the plus button and I'm going to choose photo grid right again I'm going to upload my photos you guys would upload them from your um, from your picture folder right here so whatever project you would go into project one and the pictures in your portfolio would be the ones you would upload but I have mine on my desktop right here so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click and shift click so I get all of them press open all right they're gonna open up in a grid okay if you don't like the position of some of them, then you can click on it and you can move it uh, forward or back, backwards. Okay, You can make the photo larger if you want, and some of the other ones will go smaller. So let's say I want to move that to the right, and this one I want to make larger. Okay, uh, That's way too large, so I'm going to go back and make it a smaller photo. So I'm going to go ahead and press Save. And so this is my grid here, rule of thirds, and then I have all my 10 pictures in here. Now, uh, what I want to do now is create a split layout for the next one. So I go down to the next plus, click on the plus, and then click on split layout. And I want to pick the picture um, that I uh, want to talk about. Okay. So I can go through these pictures in my grid, right? And I want to talk about the one um, that not only is the best, but one that I think I can um, speak on. Okay, so let's say I go with this one and I open that. Okay, that's going to go to here. Now, if I click on this, move this up a little bit if I click on this I can change my focus my focal point so if I want to move it over you can see how it's moving around so I'm gonna move it here all right and then save now over here on the right I'm gonna click on that again I'm gonna go text h2 and this would be my artist Statement, colon. Okay, now, <clears throat> uh, 
uh, my artist statement, I'm going to answer those three questions. I could just write it in a paragraph and include all of those. Okay, so that's one option. The other option is to number it out. So I could click on this plus icon and I could go to text and I could go to numbers. So I could answer the first question. Okay, press the return key, answer the second question, press the return key, answer the third question. So people have done it different ways. Some people like to just do uh, a blanket um, paragraph or two. Other people like to uh, bullet point each paragraph with one, two, and three. So it's totally up to you what you want to do there. Okay. So once you're done with the artist statement, you're done with project one. Now project two will go underneath here and you would start project two by going text. You type out project two and so forth. And all the projects go underneath. So project one is always on top. And then your last project, project 10, would be at the bottom. So it's just a scrolling portfolio. All right. Now, when you're done with your edits for that day, you want to go up to the share tab right up here. You want to publish and share link. Okay. And you want to create the link here. Okay. So this link is what you would give to people if you want them to see your portfolio. Okay. It's really important that you um, update the link after every edit, okay, edit, after editing session. Um, you don't have to do it after every single edit, but after you, you're done editing for that day, make sure you update the link. Okay. So if I go in here and I make a change, uh, let's say, let's just go rule of third just to make a change. All right, then I go up to share this. I publish and share link. Notice that if you made changes, it's going to give you this little lightning bolt here. It says we notice you made some changes in the project. Would you like to update this link? Yes. Click the update the link. It will take a couple seconds. And then it's updated, ready to go. Okay. Once you have given this link out to anybody. Uh, they always have that link and we'll see your updates. You don't have to send them a link anymore. Just one time. All right. Let me know if you have questions.